right, let's see what we got here. All right, all right, all right. We seem to be doing quite well today. Let's see if it keeps up. All right, we'll wait a little while. People to join on in. See what happens. we are waiting for people to come in I'm working with a 14 by 18 inch canvas and I'm putting a little bit of vegetable glycerin on it do the whole thing we'll probably mess around with a mountain I decided to go live instead of doing a pre-recorded because my weekend was a little busy so I already didn't have the time to devote really to doing a live show so I see three in there, so hello to the three. If you can't uh, chime in, that's fine. I understand. It's all good. I'm just making sure the glycerin is all over the uh, canvas this time. There was a patch that was missing there. There. All right. Well, hello Marilyn, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. I'm going to take some, believe it or not, this tray actually has the last bit of titanium white. This is a Stay Wet palette, and that's actually the last bit of titanium white I did have. Okay, and we're going to coat up down from the little lower than the middle portion with titanium white. come up here a little bit I'll do it one more time now, I'm doing this because it's you know the glycerin lays on top of the uh, the paint lays on top of the glycerin a little bit so I'm just gonna coat it twice with the white we're gonna use the, the blue and whatnot to um, darken it a little bit I might want a little bit of a brown sky I'm gonna take a little touch of orange okay and I'll put the orange up in here like this, just maybe on one side like that. Yeah, we'll lighten it a little bit, just like so. Okay, I might throw a little bit of red in there, why not? I'll throw the red up here in this corner. Have it come down a little bit, have it kind of seep around in that area. I'll just keep it in there, all right? Now for the clouds that I want to do, I'm just going to um, do a little bit of playing around, a little bit of phthalo blue here, and slap some of that blue in there like that. We're going to get all sorts of crazy kind of colors happening here with the sky. I'll put some of that in here. I'll come down here a little bit. Yeah, a little bit up and in here. I'll probably end up covering the rest with the blue just to get it off of my brush here. Don't necessarily mean I'm gonna use this blue, but I just want it off my brush. Okay, and the glycerin is going to blend it, so I'm not worried about the streaks. It is spread out and everything. I'm not really concerned about what's going on in the bottom. I'll take a very large blender. Hopefully my head is not too much in the way. And we'll start blending from the middle here. All the so-called brighter colors. I want a nice soft blend between all of those guys before I touch that blue. Very 
soft just like that then I'll start going into the blue I'll start from the blue from the bottom first very very soft three hairs of some air type of thing going on here with it then right from the from the blue area makes that blue right into that color fade it right in there like I say I got glycerin on here so it's going to move this paint around it's going to blend it vary the pressure of your hand okay I'm gonna just mix it all in there like that it's okay make a very interesting blend of sky color right now I'm not worried about what's going on on the bottom okay that's not my concern or worry at all just getting this stuff blended pretty pretty well <coughs> nice certain mixture of colors happening here stirring it up in a circular motion it's heavily concentrated with blue in this area so kind of make it happen there I can smooth out the rest of this right down here it really doesn't matter how I'm doing it with this because it's going to be covered up with you know other whatever's but I will I'll just smooth it out here real fast I gotta uh, keep in mind that my head is in the way I don't have to add the egg strokes to this because glycerin spreads out the paint. So I don't necessarily have to do what I'm doing. And when I do it, it just spreads out and dissipates anyway. So, no big deal. Hey Chrissy, how are you? You off the bed? No problem. Thanks for stopping by, even if it was for a microsecond. I know that my time when I do this is a little late for you guys because it's got to be... Um, midnight where you are Ian how you doing buddy no problem Ian I know it's pretty late for you too out there it's just gonna be one uh, giant mountain some freaky looking clouds you know that type of thing okay I decided to do this uh, live instead of a pre recorded because I had a very busy weekend so I decided to go this route okay but you know that's that's it really okay while this is still wet all right I'm gonna take my I have to get used to using this brush um, I'm gonna buy another one this is a Waverly brush Waverly International it's a chipper or um brush but it's got such full bristles in it and believe it or not they're soft okay now I did it with the paper last time, I'm going to do it with the canvas, see how it takes. I'm going to just get a little bit of white. Okay. And we're going to make some very interesting clouds. It's going to mix with these colors that I have on here because the colors are still wet because of the glycerin. Alright, I guess I'll start right from, I'm going to get all sorts of different tones and, and stuff happening with it. So I'm just going to play just like this. All in here, just like that. Not necessarily mean I'm going to get rid of everything. But I'm just gonna see how this looks with this type of uh, brush. It's very easily manipulable, if that's a word. You can manipulate your clouds and how you want them. And I'm just taking the paint only on one side, okay? And I'm gonna just play around and build what I like to build with this. Okay, I can turn the brush around and get nice little patterns going in there. I don't have to overdo it. Okay, and I'll just keep right at it. Let's do uh, let's do a few down in here, right up in this, this area. I can just pounce what I want on there like that. 
and then I'll just kind of see you can manipulate the if I want them wavy and whatnot I'll probably play around with this for a while get layers of clouds going like I say I like the way it looks I like the way they're turning out there I don't have to really do much manipulation to get what I want out of them these have little appears and the more I stay on it the more it tends to blend in with the colors in the background back there so that means I can add extra layers of white to this as I move right along okay I'm not concerned about all this down here Like I said, I kind of like what what's going on with it. I like it anyway. I think it's pretty cool. And we're going to keep messing around with it. As a matter of fact, <coughs> I'm going to get a little bit of orange. Okay. And I'll add the orange right up in here. <coughs> Just like that. Then I'm going to take the white. Pop it in there so we get a nice little orange cloud happening right in there just like that and then I'll just kind of fade it play with it mix it have all sorts of little happenings going on around in here just like that now I'm keeping like colors pretty close to each other when I did the initial color uh, blend there bring some of that orange right up in there like I say this brush is quite maneuverable I can still manipulate the clouds to be whatever I want it to be okay so I'm getting all sorts of interesting things happening there all right and I just wiped the brush off on my beach towel that I have on my lap okay oh that was orange let's get a little bit of yeah, let's play with some red. Red on the corner, just a little bit of red. Red's a very powerful color. Okay, we'll play with the red around in this area right in here. Okay, and I'm going to get a little bit of white, lay it right on top of the red. Okay, just like that. We'll go up here, like with it. We'll go up around in here, come on up there. Just like that. I really like what's going on with it and what I can do. I do like it. Get a little bit of white, just a touch of white. And we'll pop in a few bits in there. It doesn't matter how far down I go, because like I said, a lot of this will be covered anyway, so I'm not really concerned about all of this in here. But I do like the blend that's going on with it. And if you guys have been noticing with the glycerin, you, know, you see the streaks, but you won't after a few seconds. It, it just goes right away. Okay. And I did go to Walmart today. Did I go to the paint section to get the other brush? No. Didn't even think of it. So, <clears throat> I'll make another trip tomorrow. <laughs> but this brush does hold, hold quite a bit of water. I really like it. It's pretty cool. Okay. Let's play some more. Let's, um... We'll get a little bit of white this time. Put on the brush. Right about in here. Okay. Now I'm going to get the smallest amount of blue. Same technique I did with the other clouds. I'll put the blue right up in there. Just to mix that in there. Just like that. Alright. And then once again, start to do your thing with it. Put it up in there a little bit, and swirl it around to, in front of the other colors a little bit. 
I'll get a little bit more white so I can add a little more contrast to them just like that and I'll take the other side of the brush that don't have much paint on it and let's pop a little bit of love up in here like that really put it in there and then very softly manipulate it as much as you feel you have to okay let's smooth it all together move it all around don't worry about this down here up in here only one side of my brush actually has paint so let's get a little more titanium white and we'll pop some love up in here just something interesting up around in here the more you blend it the more it goes into the color very softly start to kind of meld them all together these little spots in here I can just get rid of that smooth it smooth out a little bit just stay in one spot for a while and it gets rid of that and then back and forth and back and forth until you get the blend you're looking for it's a thick brush so it can kind of take a lot of beat down it's a full bristle brush okay and there you there you have it all melting into each other all that fun stuff I know it does look like a shaving brush doesn't it it would pretty much essentially do the same thing a shaving brush is just as thick but yes you can get them um, if you can get one shaped like this it does look like a shaving brush but the bristles are really soft believe it or not um, and this is a natural hair brush it's not a, it's not a synthetic hair Okay, and look for it in the paint, the paint section, paintbrush section, um, or look in the men's section for a shaving brush, which is also like this, but very soft. I'm just wiping off the brush on my beach towel and it comes out looking like that again okay all right let me do something here but just to focus so you guys can really check it out and see what it looks like there okay the way I got the camera position you might see the back of my head a wee bit more than usual I'm just taking a hake brush a little soft brush here and I'm just gonna nicely softly smooth all of this out in X strokes very soft brush now the glycerin is starting to tack up which I expect it to do okay it's no big deal this is another very soft haired brush okay here we go just like so there you have it okay Yes, Bruce, very crazy sky. How's it going, Bruce? <clears throat> um, what I wrote to you that I was making uh, thumbnails for all of my 300 or so paintings. I'm doing them about 20 to 40 at a time. And once you get into a rhythm, it's not as bad or as daunting as that may seem. Um, I just found a background two backgrounds actually that I really like and um, I got this uh, very small program it's, it's a nice program actually pretty cool and I can do the do uh, the backgrounds the lettering and whatnot um, it's a very simple process and because I have most of my um, artwork in Word when I do my um, when I catalog them I put them on Facebook, uh, the ones for sale. I just and and they're high quality JPEGs anyway, so I just uh, copy, put it into the uh, the program with the background there. It's a very simple process, and and um, because I catalog them, I've already have stuff written down, so all I do is just copy and paste. So it's a pretty quick process because of you know the stuff I've done beforehand. 
what's daunting is the 300 or so that I have to do which is you know a lot less than that now so I did a few uh, Sunday I did a few Monday from um, today and, um, and I did some on Saturday night so um, you know just it's something that had to get done man um, it makes it look a lot more uniform you know same backgrounds whatnot. I mean you can just take a peek at you know um, if you look at the total videos you'll actually see how many I've done so yeah Marilyn Ian Chrissy Michelle messenger hello um, and Bruce there's probably a few more there's a few more that are in here that just haven't typed some you know they come in and chill watch and everything but just cool there's nothing, nothing wrong with that okay basically I wanted my crazy sky okay all right so we'll go with a smaller don't know if I well let's do it the traditional route I guess we'll go more back towards uh, the Bob Ross ish type of thing I really don't need the glycerin so I can put this away hold on one second put the cap on it and put it back in this little spot here out of the way okay like I said you'll probably see a lot more of my head forgive me all right uh, let's get some colors going let's get a little bit of red we'll put it right around in here let's get a little bit of this nice deep brown okay we'll put some of that there and get some blue put it in. this makes a nice little mountain color I might went a little heavy on the red we'll see but as long as it's kind of dark it doesn't matter just like this my server timed out so I can't see your text until I press the button again Sorry, I'm just mixing up some nice deep color here. Just like that should be fine. There we go. All right. Let's get a nice swath color here. All right. Um, I tend really not to try to put my mountain dead center. Um, I try not to. Um, and I try to get a nice sharp edge to my mountain okay keep it fairly thin okay now I'll kind of add a little something right there get some more of the color something like that this don't matter down here you just drag it down a little bit, whatever. We'll work with that later. The glycerin is still pretty wet. <clears throat> okay. Uh, more, of a, more of a point up there. Something. Some more of a, kind of a, a point. You can always reshape it. I kind of like my mountains a little craggy anyway. You drag some of that down there. We'll start to flatten them out a little bit in there. I will put a baby peak up there. Let's spread that out a little, a little more. up the rest and we'll just kind of that should be fine somewhat all this down in here wipe that off yep we're good we have to play with that all day all right we'll take a flat brush of some sort I can take this guy this guy do fine
Thank you very much. Let's spread that out a little bit. Take it, just spread it out. Just like that, spread it out there. In the direction that you feel the mountain should go, just spread out the paint. Very Bob Ross-esque approach to this. Just like that. Come on down, spread it out like that. See this? In the middle. I can it's like that. I can borrow some of that paint. It's nice and thick here. I'll borrow some of it and we'll bring it over here a little bit. Okay. It's like that. Alright. Now I'll just clean off this brush. This is my handy go-to two-inch flat brush that I use for just about everything. Okay. And because the glycerin is on here, the paint moves around real sly. I'm using heavy body acrylics. I'm not using oil paint. Heavy body acrylics. All right. I'm, like I say, I'm not really, um, I'm not really concerned about what's going on over there. Okay. Let's raise uh, the camera up a little bit. There, get above that little, but little egg strokes. That's the thing about spring. You know, any bugs that can come through the blades of a fan, they usually come in and say hi. Unwelcome visitors. You know how that goes. Okay, but I just want to fade. Okay, it doesn't matter how far down it goes. The mountains are kind of the focal point anyway. Now, if I feel I have too much glycerin, I'll just take a rag and wipe it off. But so far, so good for right now. Okay, we can tighten this up a little bit. I brought in there. Okay. Basically, this is what I have going on. Okay. Just like so. Okay, that's, you know, like that. All right. Just rinsing off the brush. Now with oil paint, you can let your brush, let the paint linger on the brush. It's not gonna dry and get solid or acrylic. It most definitely will. And what you don't want is your dry paint to get hard in the furrow of the brush. That just leads you to a whole bunch of, oh, that's all right, oh, Vermont, that's cool. Um, he has a hickey brush. Um, yep. He's talking about, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, he's talking about the one inch and a three inch guy. These are awesome. They're beautiful. They're great. Really. Super soft. Good for blending all that stuff together. You know. They are a wonder. Lovely. I had these for a few years actually. I never really um, used them too much. But they're great. Okay. So let's get to doing something with this um, this mountain here. We'll, uh, I guess we'll still use the same um, use the same knife here. I'll probably zoom up a little bit. Adjust the, because uh, this is our focal point really. Is the mountain. I'll start off over here somewhere. Um, and since I can bring the full mountain in because we're not really concerned about anything going down um, past this box right here. Okay, so our intention is really this area in here. All right. Um, essentially, because I really didn't put any highlights or whatever in the clouds, I can put the highlights anywhere I want, either on the left or the right side. You know, it kind of doesn't matter as of right now. All right. Okay. We'll get it just a basic um, mountain color. I don't know if I'm going to even put snow caps on these. I might just have them regular mountain color. Who knows? You know, I'm going into my dark brown here. It's a um, umber here. Okay. A little bit of umber. Hmm. If I slap yellow and this is going to turn green, and that's kind of what I do not want, so let's go with a little bit of that. So let's slap a little orange in that. I got to be careful with the wax paper and going too hard with it because 
it will definitely shift and move on me. Pop a little, little bit of white in that. And it's going to turn a weird grayish, brownish gray color. Okay, because of the orange that's in it. But as you can see, I do it too hard. I got to manipulate the paper a little bit. But this is, this is fine. This is, for what I want to do, this is, this is cool. Get a little bit of that off of there. Okay, and then I'll scoop it all up. I know I'm moving my paper around, it's okay. I'll just slide everything back there. Got yellow on my thumb, but it's alright. Yeah, I'll just kind of spread it out like that. One, it gets it off my palette knife. Wipe the palette knife. Let's take a nice swipe across like that. Give me a nice thin roll. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can somewhat see it here. I can't tell if you guys, yeah I can there. Uh, I gotta focus it. There it is. It's right here. Okay, nice thin roll. Alright. Okay. Alright. So let's play. Um, where do I want my highlights to be? Do I want it on the right side or the left side? Alright man. See you later, Ian. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, uh, we'll put it... You know what? Let's put the light side over here this time. Right up around in here. And what I'm going to do as I'm doing this is I'm holding it like this. I'm not holding it like this. Alright, you hold it like this. It's like you're spreading cake or something. And you inadvertently put pressure on the on the blade like that. That's what you don't want. Okay. And you'll feel your paint kind of touching the canvas a little bit. And you just let the paint move around like, like so and just let it slide and do its little thing very delicate okay and we'll do we'll do one right here we'll kind of come this way with it and kind of chop it around a little bit there it's a thin um layer of paint that i'm doing this with okay and you see i'm just some goes down a little bit further some don't and i'm just gently dragging it across okay just like so. The thinner the paint, the more gaps you're going to get. You follow me? I don't necessarily want to get rid of the base color. That's not the aim of it. Okay. Oh, let's go in a little further. Like that. And kind of aim some of that down like that. And come this way. Go that way with it. Alright. Go up and reverse a little bit. Break some of that up. Just like so. And you leave it be. Let's move on to the next one. I'm going to take a little bit of the paint. I'm going to spread it out. Go all across. Nice thin layer of paint. All right. Right here. Take it. And you just kind of play with it. Go on across. Go on down with it. All right. You can do this in layers too. I'll, sh I'll show you. Cause we'll, we'll, we'll really play around with the mountain tonight. Now, basically, um, up to you. We'll go around this way. It's like that. Give him a little bit there. Basically, if you want, up to you. I mean, this, what I'm doing right now, could be a one and done. You know, you can just do, go this far if you want. And, you know, have at it. Let, it. let it go. Just like that. If you desire to. If that's what you would like to do. Okay. Up to you. Let's get this one more of a cliff. Go straight down, straight down. This fades out there. And we'll add a little bit of love up in here like that. And come on down like that. Like that. Right. This is canvas. Come on down like this. And bring it this way. Like so. Hello Johnny, how are you? It's good to see you. Come on down. Curve it around like that. Remember this is glycerin on this, so it's gonna last a little while. Okay.
let's give it a little curve there, like that. Uh, well, there's not enough on there for that. Get some toward the peak here, and we'll get a little something right there. Not much, just like that. Like I said, you can just do stuff like um, what I'm doing right now, and call it a day, really. All right, and just add darkness on the other side, and just that's it. But I'm not going to do that. You guys know that, though. We gotta establish a dark side here to your mountain. Okay, let's go with a little dark blue here. Uh, I really don't want to add that brown. So let's go with a little bit of, of red. Get it maroon anyway. I might have to add some brown. Now it's my turn green on me. Which I kind of don't want. But if it does, oh, this is kind of thick. Let's get that Let's go there. Put it right in there. Let's straighten this stuff up here. Bear with me one second while I straighten it up. It's going to crinkle on me because of the pressure that I'm adding. My seat position doesn't allow me to grab onto one side of the, um, the wax paper. I knew that was going to happen. It just dry spot caught. Like I say, I'm not in a position to really hold on to it. Not the way I would like to. I'd have to go in this direction to grab it. Try to spread it out there without it pulling. Okay. So let's get a little bit of this dark stuff. One swipe across. Okay. Like I said, I don't really want to get rid of all of that purpley blue that I got going on here now we're gonna go the other direction you follow me okay and you can have a lot of fun doing this but whatever you do you're aiming it in that direction okay don't get rid of everything the dark will help you separate the lighter tan color okay just like so. Bring it right down there like that. You'll start to see this guy uh, slowly take shape here. Okay, you can tease a couple of those in there like that, but really bring it down there in here. Now remember this paint is still quite wet. And I'm using the thinnest um, batch of paint. Let's go up up into it a little bit there. Just like that. I'm going to have to put my finger there anyway so I can really get it all out of there. You guys might see more on my hand than anything else. Spread it across. Get us some here. It's all on one side. That's what I don't want. I don't want it all on one side. Across the whole thing. Let's go over here and work. Well, let's do it this way. Get a nice little across like that. Let's do a little bit of that right in here and go up into the other side of the mountain a little bit. I'm gonna have to mix in some more. So hold on. Let's mix some more love here. on here so it's not gonna get the uh, sponge underneath there that it won't do and if it does I can just adjust it and we get some more of that dark that's what we're talking about stuff like that uh, we can kind of come down from here and go up that way like that with it get a little bit more and we're gonna accentuate some of that very light very light touch like that and you just bring it on down here. Don't worry about all this down here to be blended in 
a little bit later in a few seconds actually oh let's get one right from right here come here and just come across and go on up like that yeah I'm gonna have to change the paper out that I can see right now I'll put it right here where I can see it oh get a little touch of blue put that blue in there we'll put it right in here just like that bring this back a little bit Mystical effect. I'm reading. I'm reading what you guys are saying. Let's go down that way like that. Really deep shadows on this guy, and we're gonna manipulate stuff and you know turn stuff around and whatnot, just like that. I just gotta be mindful of my poor paper here. right now as I'm looking at it I'll smooth some of that out there okay before I add anything else I'm gonna show you what I am gonna do I'll take this brush all right and we'll go up into the paint we'll just kind of tap it a little bit up into the mountain like that tap just like this go up into it a little bit I don't have to go all the way all right come here and come down we'll bring some of that down just like that Okay, and very gently, yes, I can use this brush very, very gently. I hope I killed you. No, I didn't. It just flew out of my hand. Very gently, left and right, very gently. So you don't want to destroy all of that detail in there, but just make it sort of look kind of appear like it's coming out of nothing there. We're gonna add more stuff to to the mountain. Don't worry. There. Okay. Just like that. Now, I know I've got all, all a plethora of a mess right here, and it's okay. Let's add a little, little, little touch of white to everything we added. Uh, we'll put it, we'll find a spot, well, I guess we'll keep it right here. Okay. A little bit of, I don't think I got enough brown left. Not too much, but it's okay. You're just gonna gray it out a little bit. If I do run out of brown, just add some more. I wish I was at the correct position with this. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen too, cause it's dry right there. That I can hold this down. I, I should tack it down. That would help me a lot if I tacked it down. But I don't got time to worry about that. Okay, let's go here. We'll still mess with it. Ah, it's uneven. Hold on it out take a nice even swipe across like that all right we'll play a little bit with the dark area um, where I figure um, some of the the off highlights would be like that so we'll play with refracted light a little bit um, usually where the peaks of the mountains would be you would catch some of this some of this gray you might not see too well all right I'll try my best with it up around in here that's a little bit like that pop some of that down in here Let's see if I got a little bit more in there that's not that's nowhere near enough I'm gonna I might have to switch up 
because this is not doing it. Like I said, I could tack it, and it will stay if I decide to, to tack it up, but I, I won't do that. Back into here, back into here, back into a little bit of red. Okay, now that gives me that maroon again. Okay. Let's get a little bit of brown. The brown, I kind of kill it. That's way too much brown. I forgot this is not as uh, thick as my other stuff. So I'll just get a little bit of that and I'll just come over here with it. come here and we're going to add a little bit of right on down and across right down and across right there a little bit more just like so really accent the um the cliff edge there some of that right up in there like this. I'm going to go back over some of these with that dark. Like around in here. Kind of obscure that a little bit better. Come on down across like that. Hey Lori, how are you? I see you. I see you. How you doing? I'm playing playing with mountains today. I'm gonna go back into my dark. Let's get a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. A little bit of that brown in there. Let's get some red deep in it a little bit. Right up in here. Yes, I'm, looks like I'm making a hot mess. It's okay. Darken that up a little bit. Let's pick another spot. Right in here. I just need something dark enough. There. Get a little swipe across. And we're going to accentuate some more of that dark area there. Let's kind of turn that in and swoop it across. Make that a little more interesting. Bring it up in here. Have it travel a little bit. Just it's like that. And we'll bring 
some of that down in here. Never feel that you think you're going to lose handle or lose control of what you're doing. Okay. You're not. You can always reform, reshape your mountain pretty much to whatever you feel. Okay. I'm still looking at it <coughs> in various spots here. you can always mold your mountain to whatever you desire okay so I'm still checking things out I cannot get a spot of I'm trying to find a usually I have a there it is let's see if I can reach it without breaking my neck uh, yep there we go I got a little canister here I'm gonna take a little bit of white well, still the pellet knife, a little bit of yellow on top of the white. And I'm going to get a little bit of a uh, little, no, I don't have much brown, so I, I'll use a little slight touch of red to get it a little bit on the orange side here. So it's CAD yellow, titanium white, and um, CAD red. Alright. That should be Right enough, but it won't be gaudy. Okay, and here we go. We'll we'll pop in a couple of uh, just like that, a little bit in there. And we'll come across here, really thin, really thin, right up around where you see the peaks. I see how it looks like the, the, the sunlight is directly hitting that guy. Okay. Let's go from here. And we're going in a downward sloping direction. I'm making sure it hits those corners there. So you can actually see the, you know, the ledges there. Let have it come across a little bit. Not too much. The brighter the highlight, the less of it you need. As you can see, very thin roll. Very light touch. Okay. Really, really light. Some of it will catch, some of it will not. Alright. Alright. See how that presents itself. You guys can do the same exact thing. Give a little plateau red across right there like that. Right. Uh, a little bit of something right in there. Okay. And we'll have a nice little little slant. Uh, if I can get enough up and hold on. Go flat with your pellet knife and we'll just give it a nice little turn in there like that. Okay, I think, well, hold on. I gotta use a small part of the knife here, and we're gonna kinda accentuate that little bit back there. Okay, he's trying to hide back there. Yep, the sunlight gets that fella way in the back back there also. I'm just wiping off the pellet knife. I'll set this guy right here. Once again, take your brush. don't have to pound it half to death but you know once again very light very light even if you go a little bit up into the mountain there a little bit that's okay don't force it very light so even though I'm going across it's still maintaining some of that yellow there okay 
Now I'm adding a little pressure down the, here. Just to spread it out a little bit. And you know, you just keep going down there like that. Don't worry about this stuff down here. I'm just concentrating mainly on Mr. Mountain. So let's pull the camera back. Let's see what we got here. Alright, and this is what we have so far. Okay. So far. Hey Matt, how are you? Lori, Matt, Johnny. I don't have my glasses. Hey, what's going on? Yes, this canvas is time, Ian. How you doing, boss? Matt, I don't watch Bob Ross. I got all of his DVDs, and I still don't watch him. Um, I'm too busy, one, doing my own, so no, I don't really watch him too much anymore. Not unless I'm feeling nostalgic, but no, on my off time, I don't watch Bob. Um, I, I um, <laughs> watch The Dog Whisperer and anything else not involved in painting, that's what I watch. So... No, and this will probably be the last, more or less. I think it might be the last um, painting that I'll do. Like, like, unless I'm doing a Monday night thing where I have to do one, um, because I gotta um, do some illustrations. I gotta paint um, for a book, book illustration. So that's an actual job, job. So I'll be doing that, um, and I might put post. Uh, I might put some of it online. I'm gonna do it on canvas, a bigger one than this. This one's all 14 by 18, I believe. This canvas. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm going into this purpley, whatever mix I had down in here that I kind of conjured up. Okay. Very thin amount, even thinner than what I just put down. Let me use the, um, the plastic thing here. Because I need it to be relatively thin. When I use the palette knife and I want to do mountain texture, uh, um, the paint's got to be uh, rather thin. So when I wipe across it here, it's just a very thin roll. I'm going to do some refracted light. And what I'm, it's very simple to do because we already established where the dark part of the mountains are. Okay. And I don't necessarily have to go the traditional, like, you know, you go down here and you go the other way, you go down like that. I don't necessarily have to do that because that's already been established by the previous... Um, mixes of paint that's on here. Okay. So I can just be kind of ambiguous with it because I already know where the pattern is going to be. And I don't have to add too much of this. Uh, we'll go way right down here like that. Just let the paint break up by its own lonesome. Oh, put a little bit there. I don't have too much of this on the uh on the knife. Kinda get something happening here and right down there. The texture I can go any any direction I want really. The texture is gonna come right off the blade here. Just like that. Alright. I got some more of this mix down in here. This Get it, put it right here real quick and I'll just kind of pepper it throughout here like I say it's just refracted stuff nothing to write home the mama about okay if I have it too um, light in one particular area which I feel I do okay I'll just darken it and just return that darkness back to it get a little bit of blue here I can kill some of that there. Bring some of that back. If it's too light in, in certain areas, I can bring it back. Just like that. And kind of play around in here a little bit. So you can just add layer after layer after layer. Color after color. All according to your taste, what you want to see. Okay. Really. All right. Now, that I've done that, I'm just finding a place for this tray here. I don't really need it too much. All right. This has been a 
Well, actually, I can just take this stuff. Hold on for one second. I have to take the towel off my lap, position myself here, and scrape the rest of this garbage off. Let me move my water. Because I don't need, I don't need too much of this anymore. I can just scrape it right off. Like I say, it's just um, <clears throat> wax paper that I have manhandled there. Next time I do this, I'm going to just tack, tack it to the, um, I'm going to just tack it on there. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't wear, it, it's got, it's a double layer, so don't worry about none of that. So if it does tear, it's still not going to go on to the, um, to the sponge down below. Alrighty. So, I've established the mountain, I've established the crazy clouds, okay, now for the easy part, we'll use the titanium white, a little bit of that, oh, uh, let's just use this very soft makeup brush, it looks like a, um, a filbert of some sort, this guy right here, okay, as far as the wetness of the uh, glycerin, um, yeah, a little bit of it is, is still there, so I can, I can manipulate it a little bit. I'm just pouncing a little bit into the hairs. Okay, that little spot in the corner is a little heavy, but that's all right. We can, we can, we can do something with that. I'm not really concerned about it. I'll show you when you encounter something like that, where it's kind of thick there, like, like right there. Okay, if you encounter something like that, it's nice wiping it off. You can always utilize it. Just come on down here a little bit and just wipe it off. Okay. Just wipe it off, yeah. See, just wipe it off like that. Now all the rest, you can kind of manipulate it and put it up here a little bit. All right, just kind of, you know, build off of it. Borrow some from here, and bring it up here. All right, just like that. And this is a very soft brush, so you can just kind of blend your little foggy areas wherever you feel you want them. And this also can be in layers too. You'll see as I keep doing it here. Okay. Circular motion. I'm not going particularly this. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. You know, just kind of wave it around. Um, have a little fun with it. Tap a little bit on the bristles. All right. If you're a little shy, go down below. But if you're not shy like me, then you just go all up into the mountain like that. And just stir it around. Now, remember, we're working with acrylic. So, a lot more is dry than you think. Okay. And once again, if you want to smooth it out, just do one of those little quick X numbers like that. So you smooth it right out. Okay, but everything's a building process. I'll get a little bit here. Just and tap it into the bristles. And we'll kind of play around with some of it right up here. Come on up in here in the mountain a little bit like that. Alright. And once again, just kind of blend and stir it around. Nice little circles. You don't, If you don't want to get rid of all of the intensity of the color and don't blend it as much you know smooth it out but don't don't blend it it just takes practice okay do it sporadically in spots oh, yeah, let's get some more of that pop some of that brightness in there especially where you think the sun is gonna hit okay and I'll just lightly play around with it I'll just keep messing with it until I get what I like The more you blend, the more it blends into the color that preceded it. Okay, especially if if if, if, if um your glycerin is still a little tacky. Okay, so you know, just like that. I don't want one solid color. I want different textures, different values in there, like this, and I'll just kind of put it in there, just like that. Just and basically, I'm getting just. Like I said, just different values of of of, uh, of color. Just like that, pounce it into the canvas, right? Like this, right? And you just blend it out, blend it out, and leave it be, All right? It looks like little mist, little pockets of color, little pockets of mist and atmosphere, and all that mumble jumble. What size is this canvas? This is eight, uh, it's, uh fourteen by eighteen inch canvas. Okay. No problem, Lori. Enjoy having you. 
I'd be checking you out. It, sometimes the times that you come on, they're usually times that I have to um, do a lot of video editing for the church, and um, I'll listen to you on the iPhone while I'm doing the editing. But it, it all depends because sometimes I have to put the earphones on. But I just watch you just to get your your watch hours up going there. Um, I think you're monetized, but still I do it anyway. Watch you guys. If um. If Ian happens to pop on and I'm doing something, I will watch him the same way. You know, um, I won't be able to respond, but I'm I'm on. You know, listen to him when I can, or I'll just have it on just to watch. Depending if he's if he's painting or he's doing one of his Friday night things. If it's on a Friday night, um, I'm usually rehearsing or doing something with the editing on um, on one of the videos. Yes, I'll add a little mist and stuff up here. Okay. Just like that. Softly blend it. Softly blend it in there. Alright, but look look how it's looking now. One, all of that brings this further back, even though this is like most of the mountains. It's monstrous, it's huge, you know. But I got different values of this blue white that's happening here. Okay. Which is why I'm taking such a time with this, just to show you different techniques and different ways you can you can blend this stuff. Okay, one of the advantages of acrylic paint is that it dries the way it dries. Okay, I'm just taking this, and this is actually one of the blender brushes that I use. I'm just taking the side of the brush. You see what I'm doing? I'm doing this on purpose because I can just move on to the next part. But I'm just showing you what you can do. All right, up to you. You know, some of you timid folk, you can go up in here and add some of that, some of that white up in there. Now, since you're at higher elevation, it would have to be a little more on the white side there, like that. See? And let's let's intensify that. Let's bring that tuft of atmosphere in front of everybody else. And basically, it's just a brighter color. And you kind of wisp it around a little bit. I'm just using the side of the brush. See that? Now, when it dries and starts to flatten out, you'll still see some of that, that orangey yellow in there. But as you can see, you, it looks like plumes of atmosphere going on in there. Alright. You know what? Before I let this, cause uh, they hit, they hit Ian's, um, they hit Ian's statement. Now, Ian is from another country, obviously. Now, what he is referring to is a term of endearment. He's saying I'm doing a very good job and it looks better on canvas. But when you read what he says to us Americans, it will <laughs> sound like an insult, but it's not. One, you have to understand people from other countries have different terms of endearment just because we're American and we say things in a different way that's not the end all be all okay we have to learn tolerance all right so I'm gonna let this show because one it's not offending me I know what he's talking about I know what he's saying so I just said that to you guys and the congratulations to you uh, um, um, Lori come on sure there we go so that is a term of endearment. That's why I laughed the way I laughed, because most of you will not get it. But I must explain that to you. Okay, before you guys throw rocks at him and stuff. All right, he's not insulting me. All right, that's actually a good thing. And yes, it does look better on canvas. The reason why I don't do it on canvas is because the amount of paintings that I do, um, and I've cut back really from, I mean, because I used to not only do for for my YouTube or whatever, I used to do it on Facebook. And I used to do it and not have the camera on. Then I would do the, you know, the uh, the paid project, which I'm going to have to do um, probably after this one. I'll concentrate on that get it done. Um, I, used to, uh, I would have so many canvases. It would just be just crazy for me to keep buying these things because I have nowhere to put them. Okay. But yeah, it, it it does look better on canvas. It does. 
the watercolor paper has its texture, but it, you can never really. Um, now I'm just now I'm just playing around here. I need to stop and go on to the next part. Um, everybody has time lim limits and time constraints here, and I'm up here painting like you know the camera's not on. Um, but back to the canvas and the paper grout. It's just easier and, and cheaper for me to store the store the. I'm putting highlights on the. You know, let me stop. I'll stop. You guys catch the drift on this. You guys can put it on repeat. Cause I'll just keep mumbling and keep on messing with these freaking clouds and fog and stuff. Anyway, mainly I wanted to do the crazy sky. All right. Um, I did want to put the mist in there, but I really put the put the put the clouds in there. Um, but I mean, this is you know pretty much how to um, how to get it, how to do it. Okay. Um, I could have went on and on and on with the mountains. Okay. Um, doesn't really have to be. Um, if you looked at the painting in, in, in real life, I mean, some of you got really decent monitors and everything, but there's all sorts of stuff happening all in here. Okay. And the sunlight is directly hitting on the ledges. Okay. I mean, I could have put creases and ledges and stuff like that all over the place, really, but we'd be here for three hours. Um, especially with the way I'm, I'm, I'm yapping and, and talking to you guys. Okay. This, um... Let's deal with some pine trees, but we're going to go different with the pine trees today. All right, I want to show you something another way because you guys seen me take the fan brush. Oh, uh, you guys take me see me take the fan brush, and you see me do the da, 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 that that type of thing. Okay, um, I mean I've got uh, literally over a hundred videos probably showing just that. All right, um, let's let's do something else. Let's let's. Get a uh yeah we'll do we'll do a few with this I know you guys think I'm off my rocker for even attempting something like that with with this all right but I just want to show you guys something different um than the you know, same old same old same old same old okay all right uh let's get a little bit of this here blue I know you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, ironically, I cannot see it because I got my setup. It's elevated higher, and it's just, quite frankly, in the freaking way. I don't want to really adjust it again because I kind of, I, I, you don't hear the audible hum anymore. There used to be a hum when I would uh, talk on this thing. That's because the two components are laying right directly on top of each other, and they have to be separated. So now you hear my voice a lot clearer without the hum. Okay. All right. So I mixed up this dark stuff. All right. So what I'm going to do is make the the trees. All right. But I'm going to do a line here. I'll do a line. I'll pop one up here somewhere like that. Just a little guideline. All right. Um, I'll put one right down here. Uh, maybe a couple here like this. Only one crooked one like that. There's a reason to my, the method to my madness. So don't don't beat on me yet. I'll put one right down here. He comes out a little further. All right. Where I'm ending them, there's a reason for that. Okay. Now put one right here. Come on. There you go. This is all paint. No water or anything mixed in. And let's put let's put uh, one right there. And maybe one right there. Okay. Eventually, uh, Lori, uh, hopefully one day I'll get there. Um, basically, it's just to stay pretty consistent. And as long as I'm hopefully offering something that people are looking for, um, put one right in the front back. Uh, okay, like that. Hopefully, I'm. If I offer people something that, that they they like, then um, you know, let's put some smaller ones up in here like that. Get up in here like that. So hopefully my head is in the way of doing these. Like that. Uh, let's put another one right around in here. This is gonna look something like Dinosaur Island by the time I'm done with it. Substantial size right there, so it kind of 
bring some insight. I want to show you guys something also. If you haven't noticed it, um, I did buy this camera from Walmart, and you know you're gonna have to buy at your own risk. But then again, there's so few stores open. Okay, if you look over here, you see that? That's a tear. I have tape on the back. Now I could have taken some um, modeling paste and swiped it right over. I could have easily could have but what I'll do with one of these numbers I'll cover it up there and now nobody knows there's a rip there but you guys nobody will know at all okay let's go on let's, let's now do these trees this is the Goswina trees um, she'll draw like every single leaf and pretty much that's what apparently somewhat I'm gonna do but there'll be a little more control over it okay so let's uh zoom in a little bit let's bring this over here okay uh yeah we'll we'll do it right right here we're bringing it in i'll hit the focus a little bit there sharpen it up for you okay and what i'm gonna do with this skinny little brush with this little dark stuff on it okay i'm just gonna look watch see this stuff like this see this now, I always like my middles to stay kind of deep there. But I'm going to start fleshing them out in this fashion. This gives you a very different look to your trees. Still pine trees. But you can make them as thick or as thin as you desire. You follow me? And still keep the, the branches, keep them you see how I'm going out that way with it? I'm exaggerating a few of them, but... And once again, I tend to keep my middles kind of bulked out there. But, as you can see, I can start branching them out as far as I need to branch them out. I'm getting some more of the blue. I'm getting some more of the brown. Because we're going to need plenty of this. And I'm not going to water it down. Well, I might. A little bit of red. But I do need a lot of it more than what I'm showing you here I might water it a little bit maybe a slight touch of the water but I'm not gonna force the strokes on this all right so as you see me do this one as I'm talking to you okay I can kind of bring them out as much or as little as I want all right what will help make this convincing is one you got a heavy center section there okay and I am gonna gradually go lighter or go um, wider as I go down especially with these guys this one's here more in the front and you can highlight the same way you follow me but you really can only get an effect like this with a smaller brush alright and you're really selling the illusion of mini leaves on this guy can get wider and they're coming right off the page there bulk it out a little bit now as I'm doing this I want to show you something watch this watch what I'm gonna do here watch this watch this watch this same watch 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 see how that disappears a little bit fade it a little bit on the bottom here obscure it just a little bit okay just obscure it a little bit you'll, you'll see as I go back into some of this darker color let's go over here on this side as I'm doing this I'm going to show you something else too I'm going to do it while I got the darker color. We're going to repeat the same thing. Right here. And we'll kind of come out a little bit more. I always, is this just my preference? I always like the middles to be kind of packed with leaves there. Okay. Alright. I have a painting. Uh, friend, very dear woman from the Netherlands. Her name is Goswina. 
and she will do an entire canvas with leaves like this. Go check out her. Well, I would have you go check out her her her, her eagle that she did, Hoswina. Um, somebody, I think if Ian's still here, he can pop the link in there if you would like to. Um, her eagle, good Lord Almighty, that thing. Um, and she did it. Uh, go to her her um, her Facebook page or um, her YouTube uh, channel. And uh, man, oh man, let me tell you, she really did her job on that thing. Talk about detail. Okay, it is re. Ridiculous the amount of detail she put in the feathers uh, on the on the eagle. Impressive. Very. This guy might not have any fade. He's gonna be the closest one, so I'm gonna spread him out a little bit like that. Okay. Just like that. Just like right on the bottom. He's the closest to us. I'll add some highlights to this fella too. But he'll probably be the only one that I won't fade into nothingness. Everybody else will be faded in. Okay. Now, um, so this one's fairly dark. That one's fairly dark. What are the ones that I want closer to being that kind of, you know, that dark? I'm going to add a little water to thin it out. And as I touch the canvas, because the canvas is still a little, little bit tacky, it's, it's not going to be as, as strong. So you're, you're going to get distance in your trees a little, a little bit of distance, okay? And strokes will be a little, a little lighter, just like that. Just like, and yeah, I got some back here. Like I say, some of these, the ones in the front will be highlighted, so you don't have to worry, worry about that. I'm going to save that one back there. I'm going to save that one. I'll go here to this one here. Can you guys, yeah, you guys can still see it. Let's, uh, let's go up above here. There, you guys can see it there. Once again, I'm gonna add some loveliness to this too. Just like this. And you can make them look more tree-like. Up to you. The ones in the back will definitely be lighter. Okay. take my same brush very gently just touch and very very gently look at this you see that hey moody how are you good for you. thanks for stopping by you can say hi to Lori and Matt and Billy and I think Bruce is in here and Ian Indianapolis is in here from Australia I've got people all over the place but uh, I appreciate you coming by thank you different take on doing um, pine trees today. I showed uh, the mountain, the crazy clouds that I did do. Okay. And right now I'm just doing the various trees. They're a little different. I'll have this one come on a little bit forward here before I fade it out there. Take my little brush, just tap the bottom like so. And very lightly, very lightly, see this? Very lightly, just kind of fade that out a little bit there, okay? Just like that. There are going to be other ones in here. I'm going to do this fella next to him. He's about the same kind of darkness. They're going to get a little bit lighter as I do the other ones in the back. I'll make this one a little, little, little different there. And as long as you kind of kind of get the gist of it, just like that there. And I want to get rid of that line like that. Have him kind of come out a little bit more there. I have him come up in front too, just a little bit like that, a little bit wider. And once again, tap this a little bit to soften it, and come from the bottom like so. I can use a softer brush to do it, but it's not necessary enough for this. Not right now. Not right now. I got one more before I start light, uh, getting lighter colors. This fella here, we can get him a little something here. 
Uh, let's see if we got enough. And we're going to start spreading him out a little bit more. And this is just me just giving the illusion of the of the tree shape. Okay. This is a little more time involved. Just like that. Thanks a lot, Moody. I'm not being so close to the other tree, I'll just kind of wisp it like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. The other fellas back there, I get a little bit of white, I'll pop it in there like that. You guys can see this. See that? All right. I'll get a slight touch of water, a slight touch. Okay. Still keep the same shape. We'll go in between here, right in here. And now, it might appear dark now, but it won't be when it dries, trust me. It will be a lighter, lighter color. I'll just kind of pat that in there like that. There's no way you're going to get it as dark as the trees in the front. It's just, it's not going to happen. Okay. Just like this. And we'll just kind of tap and make it disappear like that. Alright. Keep going. Don't rush it. I know, like I said, these take a little time, but it's all right. It's okay. It's like uh, with this climate, where are you going anyway? <laughs> okay, so. Fade it right in there. How you doing, Gene? Gently fade it away. I am not ashamed to use my finger. So leave me alone. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I can get away with a couple more like that. I have him come down a little further so I can just fade him out. The paint is still a little little tacky, a little loose, so I can actually just fade it out with the brush. Right now, when they're this far away, you're looking for general, hopefully convincing shapes. Okay. We'll do one more. One more of this color. We're going to go lighter than this. And you want convincing shapes, that's all. Um, you want your strokes to kind of go outward too. And then I'll lighten the pressure and I'll just blend that out of there. Like so. Alright, let's get some more white. Going back into what I have. Now I want you to look down here. Look at the color. Now I can't see it because I got the stuff blocky and I'm going to have to do something about that. All right, so it's even lighter, okay? So look at the two colors there, okay? All right, we're gonna come over here, and we're, can you guys see where I'm at? Yes. All right, and we're gonna go even lighter. Have fun. Look at this. It's another good thing about acrylic. Yes, it will cover that dark guideline, okay? It's starting to look like the background uh, mist down there. And I'm just lightening the pressure. Okay. And we're going to keep continuing doing the same thing with this color. All right. Just like that. I'll have him come down a little further. Kind of does.
doesn't matter at this point. It's, it's the further away. Lighter color. More into the background back there. If anything you do, you're covering up that dark line, if anything. Yes, they take a little more time. And yes, I could have put a, a lot more of these trees in here. But once again, sake of time. I used to do quite a bit of these, um, really detailed and whatnot, but back when I was starting, I was like thinking about, well, if I was on TV, you know, I would have to do this in 26 minutes. Online, you take as long as you want, but you, you know, you want people to return, so. Also, it depends on how much of a gabber you are, how interest, how, how long, how much you can keep their interest, you know. Oh yeah, um, Miss Lori, I listened to you. Okay, as I'm chatting with you guys, I did not know that was the last one. Um, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I still want to add a few more. I done got into the groove of the thing and it's freaking over. All right, we'll put one up here, just right here, even lighter back there. get you? Nope. He landed on my painting. He does it again, I'm gonna just I'm gonna paint him in there into the picture. Okay. And once again I'll just fade down the bottom there. I don't have to add too many more. But I will add I will pop a few in there, a few light ones in there. I will put one right in here too. See, I don't have to add too many of these, of the really bright ones. Okay, as a matter of fact, I can just kind of just generalize it and keep the bright ones right in here. Right on this side in here somewhere. Just like that. Fade it in there. A little more white. Pop it in there, just like this. Alright. All paint, no medium, no glycerin, no nothing. Just pure paint. One, I want it to kind of dry, you know. Oh, yeah, I don't have to really add too many more of them in here. I'll pop one right up in here like this. Just like that. Kind of fade them out there. Mm, and we'll pop one in here. Just like that. We'll kind of fade them out there. Not too many more. Uh, maybe I'll tease one more, then we'll move on to the guys in the front. Uh, well, we'll pop one right in here. Just like this. Now remember, as this stuff flattens out, when it dries, the color flattens out, so it may appear to be really blended in even more. And once again, lighten the pressure, fade at the bottom out like that. We're gonna really add to the mysteriousness of what's going on back there. We're gonna we're gonna get a soft um, brush, one of the makeup brushes, and once again, we're gonna do that that misty cloud thing, okay? All right, which one should I use? I'll use this guy. Nothing but a makeup brush you get at Walmart. You know, and come a few in a pack there, okay? And I'm getting a few bits of paint on the bristles. I'll just show it to you on the bigger screen, just like that. I'm gonna just tap it in there, like so. Okay, and here we go. Right up in here. Uh, let's go higher. Like about that high. All right, let's start with the, we'll start with this guy. What kind of, kind of, very soft. See how soft? Very soft, gold circuit motion. Very soft, bright white. Tap it in the bristles, just like so. Put it in there, right up in there like that. See, see that? Stir it around a little bit. I'll press up a little bit. Stir it around, just like that. Circular motion. I'm gonna keep that going. I think you guys can still see what I'm doing somewhat. Right up in here, I'll pop some in there like this. I press down real hard, right? And then you just blend away. Vary your pressure. You can, you can have it go wherever you want it to go. See this? Just like that. 
because the paint is still relatively wet I'll just get some more off of here and pop some of that love way in here like that just like that come across on this fella let's go up into the tree a little bit you're not gonna totally obscure all, the, all of the tree okay one more time there pop it right into the brush it looks like yeah I'll show you here it looks like you know that um go up in here right in here let's put a nice bright batch in there like that and then you can kind of come around in here come around in here a little bit okay I'm gonna just wipe it off the brush and once again very soft soft brush soft bristles soft touch spread some of that love out there just like that just like so let's put some of that some of that brightness up here in the front just like so just getting pure white just adding some more of that bright red in here very soft I want some of the intensity in the middle not so much on the ends though ends can kind of fade out there cover some of that tree in the back up back there kind of see now we got also some misty stuff happening here but you can play with atmospheric perspective even with the mist because the brighter I go with the mist up in front it takes the mist in the back further back because it's a darker shade of the brighter color all right seeing a darker shade of white doesn't make any sense that's an oxymoron how you have light white and dark white all right but anyway moving right along <laughs> um, no problem uh, Bruce I know I know it's the time of the time of evening I do this um, but this is what works best for me um, people can usually can catch it on the on the replay and whatnot um, I know you guys come out early in the morning so I decided not to do that I just appreciate you, even if you gave me 15 minutes of your, of your time, and, and you know, I do, I, I, I greatly appreciate it. I'm just putting some bright, wow, really bright spots in here. Well, it's just to differentiate this stuff in the front from what's going on in, in the back. And you'll, you'll see it when I put, when I pan back, okay. The only one that's really not, you know, is this guy here. Okay. Which, like I said, I can highlight if I desire to. Okay. I can actually put one of these up in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Just because. Just because. Hold on one second. Um, I had a, a, a very, very busy weekend doing a lot of, like I say, um, a lot of other, um, a lot of other, um, filming and stuff, so I couldn't really devote a lot of time to, um, doing the, um, the videos like I normally would, because it does take a little bit of time, um, I just didn't have it at, you know, this weekend so I'm just taking a little bit of this green okay putting it into the blue a little bit of it into the red just like this it's a bigger brush same method just a bigger um, brush almost another oxymoron okay uh, we'll put him off center Right about here. Uh, right about there, maybe. But, you know, I'll show you. We'll go straight down. Maybe right about... Nah, he'll be bigger. He's a little more green. He'll be a little wider, so he'll be right up and running there. But once again, we're going to kind of darken that, that... Darken that middle a little bit. Okay. And we'll start... 
start adding things in here. I'm going in different directions with it. Now he's a little, I gotta be a little careful, be a little more deliberate with my tree shapes here. He's a little in front of us here. Okay. Come on down a little bit. See, I'm still giving the impression of up the tree. I'll move him over just a little bit there. Hold on for one second. There we go. Still giving the impression of the tree. But he's definitely closer to us. some of that dark on him too. A little more maroon. A little heavier on the red and blue. He's closer. I'm going I'm to accentuate some of the dark patches in there. Particularly in the middle. And as I'm getting that dark in there, underneath there, I still fanned it out a little bit. Okay. As I'm fanning this stuff out, okay, I'll take some of that green. I'll put the green back in here. Mm, I don't know if I want to use too much of that yellow. Maybe a little white will help it out there, yeah, like that. Not totally blend blend it um, in there. white, a little bit of yellow in that white. I don't want totally white. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna thin the paint a little bit. I think we're good. Let me test it on the tape here. Yeah, we're good. Watch, 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 watch. Can you guys see this? I'll just take it and we'll kind of very lightly pop in some. That's too far away. Let's we'll go from in here like that. some coming across there like that. And bring some out there. Right up on the side a little bit there. I'll brush some on the other side. Only a slight bit though. Mini all up in here but you get to see kind of what I'm uh, where I'm going at with it right off the tape I can probably get away with another one going that far but since I already put one here like that okay so I might as well adjust this guy too can adjust him make him look more like the other guy because since he's already dead I'm not going to get rid of all of that that dark but I'll expand him a little bit so I have some of that work for me there just like that doesn't take um, too much <clears throat> hey Gina how are you good to see you I'm on the bottom leg of this thing. Forgive my head. I usually do a pre, a pre-recorded um, live on Mondays, but I had a very busy weekend. I, I just didn't get a chance to delve into it and, and go in that direction. So today 
is a live um, YouTube event for today. Just for today. I'm pretty sure it'll happen again. It's better than me not doing it at all and just, you know, canceling it. I don't really want to cancel. Um, I've been consistent on Mondays for a few years, so um, once I decided to do it on, on Mondays, come hell or high water, and it'll be on a Monday if I can if I can help it. Okay, I think I'm 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 all right here. Let's rinse this off. Let's take the palette knife for one last one last time. So let me put this brush back. Let's grab Mr. Palette Knife for one second here. Uh, I'll grab a little bit of brown, a little bit of white. I don't need too much of this. I got a, a little lid. You guys can't see it. I'll show it to you for one split second. Right, just a little lid right here, just like that. Uh, all right. Just a little bit, just a little bit of a line right in here. If I can get it, go in there like that. There, maybe a little bit in there, like like that, and just leave it be like that. Okay. Same thing here. Usually on the tip, it really needs it. Okay. And we'll get it a little heavier. Just ease it closer to us, so we'll get it a little heavier there. All right. I really don't think I need to add anything else to this. I will take off the tape. I can't whack a frame on it. I don't have 14 by 18 inch frame. I'll throw this lid over there because I gotta wash it dog won't bother it. If he was a puppy, he would have ripped it in pieces. Well, thank you very much, Johnny. I can take this off. This is done. Oh, I gotta take this uh, towel off me, too, here. So, hold on one split second. Let me get up and uh, adjust the camera. Uh, where's my lid? I really don't need the paint anyway. I don't need the paint or the wax paper. This can go. Alright. So, I can throw this in the trash. The only thing I did forget was to put my signature on it. <clears throat> Let's change the mode. Alright. <sighs> okay. I try to give you a full shot of this thing, at least as close as I can. I know some of you are looking at this through a phone and whatnot. There we go. That should bring it back in focus. And there you have it, guys. All right. Different types of of, uh, of pine trees this time. Um, you definitely see that the the sunlight's hitting uh, from this angle. Um, <coughs> probably a little low in the morning or going toward it. I think it's in the morning like a sunrise because of the colors uh, involved. Okay. Um, but very misty. You got trees in the background and stuff like that. Okay. Oh yeah, it does not have to be overly um, complex. Like I said, I could have put a ton of trees in here. I've kind of done all sorts of cute little highlight things in here. Somebody's calling me. Um, I could have done all sorts of high I call them back. All sorts of little highlight things in here, you know, to um, really accentuate all of that. But it's not really uh, not really uh, needed uh, for this time. I got rid of that paint, didn't put my signature on it, so I'm going to have to use a little India ink here. Okay. Usually, if somebody calls me, it's probably something probably a little important. Um, let me throw my, my signature on here real quick. I don't have my glasses, but the glasses are for reading. But I kind of can do my signature just by looking at it here. Whoops, I knew it. I knew I would mess it up there. I caught myself just in time there. Alright, 
that's enough of that. I don't know who that was. <clears throat> I'm kind of glad that the phone is out there. I don't usually have my phone with me um, attached to my hip like that. But, you know. Thank you, Andrew. Welcome. For some of you who did say hi to me, and I, it did, I did not ignore you. Um, it's just that I didn't, I didn't see it. Okay. Now, with glycerin, this tape... Um, it depends on how hard I put the tape on there. I didn't put, put it on too hard. The glycerin will seep through the tape, depending on once again how hard I put the uh, the tape on. I didn't put it on very hard, so therefore you get stuff like that happening. But that's no big deal. If you buy it and you put it on a frame, it ain't gonna matter anyway because they're not gonna see it. <sighs> but it happens. It happens. I got tape in the back of this. I don't know how sturdy the tape is back there. It should hold for my little goodbye but we'll see I've had paintings fall right on my lap so whatever happens it won't be a big surprise I'm just putting the tape in the garbage there one swipe there alright I appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching this I have no frame to whack it on um it's a little, little large okay um once again as usual I will take a picture of it I will post it in a few minutes okay I shall see you guys when I see you Usually we'll be on Wednesday about 6 o'clock or so, depending on um, what's going on at that present time. But once again, thank you very much. Anthony Gray, Grayscale Painting, with a bunch of little springtime gnats flying in my face. Uh, I feel like I'm outside in the woods somewhere. Um, but it is springtime, it is the warm weather, and they do, they do uh, fly in here. Okay, see you when I see you guys. Have a good night. I'll post it on my uh, Facebook page in a, in a few minutes. God bless. In peace.